Hello everyone, this is gonna be another quick video, this time focus on Content Manager. You can see I already have Content Manager installed, but we are going to start from scratch in case you have any problem with it. If you have any kind of error, we are going to tell how to delete it and start anew. So to delete it, go to Settings, Content Manager, General open apps data folder this is the folder from with all the data from content manager if you can access here through content manager itself you can go to your hard drive users username app data local and there you have the folder you select it delete it yes and it's gone now to start from scratch if you don't have the exe, you can download it in the official pages. And once you have downloaded it, just open the zip file, there you have it. Open it, it will be like the first time. Just for now, say OK, we're going to modify whatever we need later. And we're in. Now, to start on settings, in content manager general, the thing I check is on startup only, so it doesn't check for updates every 30 minutes. Everything I leave it like it is. Drive, I want to use Steam to open content manager directly, so I click here. It modifies the original exe to keep it safe. and put content manager as a, as the new exe that the steam is going to use Click yes it will automatically do it will disappear from here because it will go to the set of course folder and we're back you can see it's working because you have steam here steam will load and also you can access the original launcher if you want to open the original one you can open through here or go to the game folder and open Oseto Corsa underscore original from here other things have changed if you want to use the, your real name for some races and then keep your online name for random online servers you can do so here here in integrated I just disable RSR as I don't use it and also world seems serious I only use SRS. That's it. Nothing more here. And in plugins. Here, three plugins I use are the 7-zip to uh, install mods through Content Manager. Just drag and drop in them inside Content Manager and automatically install them. Unit 7-zip. Save Sharp to properly use Simbraces system, you need a browser like app, and this will make it work. Just install it. And if you plan to use the career mode, you also need video LAN installed, as the career mode so has some videos that needs to be played in Assetto Corsa. In apps, if you have any mode installed that modifies the game that aren't cars or tracks you have to click them here to have them checked so it works in game other options video options modify them to how you want them but your computer can play them audio same thing modify your option how you want and in controls here is where you can uh, set the control scheme for your game you have a wheel keyboard gamepad you have the wheel connected it will detect it so you can sing steering, throttle, all the different buttons, options, and then the force feedback itself. You can modify whatever you want. Once you are uh, fine with the option you have selected, go save per set, put the name you want, and save it. Once it's saved, you will have all your presets here. Okay. Next step, you have the custom shaders patch. I basically from here, because most of the mods use 
the newer versions than the recommended one. Check the last uh, version of CSP available, the 0.1.73. It works properly, it doesn't have any errors online. It doesn't crash the game like some of the old versions when you try to exit a, a game. And that's it. So we select it. Same thing, check for updates, all in app startup. General patch settings. Be sure it's active. And that's basically it. I just disable some extra things I don't use. You whatever you don't wish to use, just click active or to have it uh, active or disabled. Later on, if you have the sole mod installed in lighting effects and weather effects, you can access some modifications for the uh, mod. Get you need. From here, the rest. Content. List of your cars. Original ones and mod ones. And if you want to go to the showroom, a quick drive, whatever you need. Media for your screenshot and replace. Results if you have done races, lap times for lap times, and drive for offline mode, chain tracks, can search tracks over you want, countries, categories, all about name, cars, same thing, carry mode if you want to do the carry mode, live for SRS. If you don't know what SRS is, Simbergy System, it's a pretty good service where you can play online races a little more seriously than the typical random ones in online servers. If you don't have an account, just register a small iRacing inside a set of course. Just select the race you want, click register, and you will be registered for the race. If for some reason you don't have the mods necessary, you can click here and it will go automatically to a page where all the mods used for simulation system there are links for all of them cars and tracks so you can go ham there and the online tab manual search for example you want to search for notch life order by name driver spin whatever you need and then once you want a uh, track to go, just click the server, select a car you want to drive, and click join down here. It will automatically then join the server. In case you like the server and you want to save it in favorites, just click here, and then you can manage the list of all the favorite servers here. That's everything you need to know to use uh, Content Manager as a even launcher from the original one for Assetto Corsa. There's really nothing difficult, so I hope it helps. And that's it for me. Peace.